I thought I would record my workflow for 3D printing. So I, you know, design something in Tinkercad, or maybe, you know, download an STL from Thingiverse. And then I have two softwares. I'm using a Dremel 3D20 right now. Um, so there's a Dremel DigiLab 3D Slicer which is based on Cura, as you can see there. Um, but I've been using the Cura because they created, someone created a plugin for the 3D20, which creates a G3 DREM file, which the 3D20 originally needs. Uh, now with the firmware upgrade, it can also take G-code, which the Dremel Slicer generates G-code. And if I didn't have the plugin for this Cura, 5.0 um, I could use the g-code and then I bring a file my file in oh let's just grab that so it says piano clip because my niece has a piano and there was a, uh, a facing that was sliding off um, so I created a clip to hold it on and then um, mess with uh, print quality a little bit. The only thing I really played with is the layer height. Uh, there, the originally setting on medium quality was 0.2, and then the uh, higher setting, the fast, uh, come on, the high speed is 0.32. I decided to go with a 0.25, go in the middle with that. Um, usually what I change, I haven't played with walls or anything, but infill I have messed with and going from 15 to 25 or 50. And I'm wondering about like some of the articulated models, if it's better to go like the 50 to 100 um, because they're moving parts to make them work better. I've left print speed. I have played with temperature. I hate that they give you a, like a 40 degree range in temperature for filaments. So trying to dial in the right temperature can be uh, difficult, I would imagine. And then um, build plate, that there are a couple options, skirt, brim, raft, none. I've been going with brim for the most part on things, except the articulated models skirt, because if you print a brim, it will actually create a backing on the object and you will not be able to move the parts. Um, now, the 3D20 does not want to uh, talk via USB, so, I gotta grab my SD card and I'm using a micro SD because my big micro um, SD reader wasn't working. So I've got this micro SD reader to plug in. Um, so there's the computer saying that it's got it. And a nice thing is that the uh, Cura is seeing this removable disc, so I can save directly to the removable disc. So I do that, and then I eject it, and then I obviously pull it and get it into the card slot, and then we hit build and file. And there are the files to press, to choose from, and build, delete, copy. So that is my workflow. Bye.